Hello, Bobcats and all the other OCPS teachers. Brad Schreffler here again, going over some advanced features on Big Blue Button today. The first thing I want to start with is breakout rooms, because I think this is a really powerful strategy. If you're doing a live lesson and you have students present, you can break them into breakout rooms, which is kind of like small group spaces. So the way you do that, you're going to go ahead and hit Manage Users, this little gear icon right here, and you're going to click Create Breakout Rooms. Now I can pick the number of rooms. So these are like the number of groups I want students put into. I can pick how long I want them to work in that small group. And then I can go ahead and randomly assign them. So in this case, I want two rooms. I wanted 15 minutes time. And I went ahead and randomly assigned them. I can also let students pick their own groups if I want. So they can actually go ahead and pick their own groups and decide where they want to go if I want to do that. Or, instead of randomly assigning, I can manually assign those students wherever I want them. So, up to you how you put them in those different groups. And once I have them in different groups, then I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. So now, you'll notice that I have this little button here that says Breakout Rooms. On my student screens, they will now get an option to go to either the Breakout Room or the Main Room. So I'm going to tell them, as they're in the session, that, hey, everybody, I want you to go to the breakout room that you were just assigned. And then my students will click the buttons. Once they join, I can see which rooms they're in, and I can see where they're at. And I can also join their room and check in on them. So if I click Join Room, then it's going to pop me over here, and I can see where... Billy and Susie are talking and they're able to share information and go back and forth right here on this page. They've become the owner of the page so they can take over, they can share their screens, they can use their audio, and they're set and ready to go. It makes it really easy for them to be able to discuss, collaborate, share information, and then after 15 minutes, you'll notice the time is running up here because I chose 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, these breakout rooms will close and then they'll be pushed back into the main room. I can also at any point go ahead and close that breakout room myself. And I can say, all right, you guys have had long enough, end all breakout rooms. And now all of those students are put back into the main room that they started in. So that is how you use breakout rooms, which are pretty cool. They're a great way to let students work and collaborate in small groups while you're still having the ability to check in on them and see what they're discussing. Some other cool features here are going to be in this little plus sign. So I have this nice little plus sign right here. One of them that's quick and easy is a poll. So I can do a quick yes, no, true, false, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E. So all this is going to do is on the student screen, give them an option to just click A, B, C, or D. So in this case, I would have the question on my slideshow, or I would ask the question aloud and allow them to then just pick A, B, C, or D. To do that, all I do is click th this button right here. All of the students now have it on their screen, and then they'll go ahead and choose their answer. As those answers come in, I will see them up on my screen right here, obviously. I have two students that said A and one that said D. Excellent. And then I can also go ahead and publish the polling results. So now my students can see those published polling results and all of them can see them as well. This is similar to like a Nearpod or a Pear Deck feature where you're just able to get that feedback really quickly and easily. And now my students can all see those responses and they know how they did. One thing to note here is when you hit publish polling results, it will only show on the default presentation that Big Blue Button has set up, and it adds on to that slide. So if I go to the next slide, the poll results go away, and I just have a blank whiteboard for me to write on. If I go back to the previous slide, that's where I'll see those results. If I'm sharing my screen and I hit publish the results, they won't see that. You can also do a custom poll where you can write your own answer choices on there as well, and then they, you can type whatever you want on those custom polls. The next feature is upload a presentation. So if you have a presentation, a PowerPoint that you're using with your students or a PDF you want them to look at, you can upload it here and then they will be able to get a copy of it. So start by hitting the plus sign and then clicking upload a presentation. And then you're gonna browse for a presentation on your computer. So I want them to be able to see this presentation on Google Sites, because I'm going to have them do a project on that. We're letting that upload. Give that a minute. Okay. 
And once it's all done, now I have that slide deck in the area so that I can go through it. And just like I would with the other presentation that was there before, if it was a PDF, it would be page by page. And now my students have access to be able to see this information while they're watching my session. The last thing I wanted to show you all was sharing an external video and letting them see an external video. So if you have a YouTube video you want them to see, doing a screen share is going to get really glitchy and irritated. You don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to do share an external video. And I can just directly paste the video URL right here. So let's just say, all right, I want students to watch my big blue button conference video because why not? Then I'm going to go ahead and copy that link and then I'm going to paste it directly into here and hit share a new video. Now on all my student devices, they're going to see that video and they'll be able to watch it on there, on their student screens. This will make sure that it doesn't get all glitchy and irritated and I still have the ability to pause it for them and I have the ability to play it again uh, at various points. So they don't have the ability to play or pause, I'm in control of that and that makes sure that they are watching the parts I want them to watch as they're actually going through. So those are some of the more advanced features available on Big Blue Button. As more and more features become available and as more things come out and we learn more about it, I will definitely be posting more videos. As always, feel free to reach out to me at bradley.schreffler at ocps.net. I've actually had a lot of you reach out and I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm loving being able to support everybody and I try to answer everybody as quickly as I can. Also want to give a shout out to the Instructional Digital Learning Support Facebook group. If you're not part of this Facebook group, it's awesome. There are tons and tons and tons of resources here, so I highly recommend you check it out. It's Instructional Digital Learning Support. It's become a lot of OCPS people sharing ideas, sharing questions and answers and helping each other out. It's been really, really cool. I'm sure a lot of you listening to this video made it here because of that group, so thank you all for that. And I hope everybody has a great day and enjoys the ride.